At your service, Lieutenant. Know what this is, sir? If I'm not mistaken, that is a .32 automatic. That's the gun that killed Mr. Stapeman. Is it? Well, not the one, but it's the same model. The real one's been impounded, pending. Pending uh, closure of the investigation. Yes, uh, exactly, that... sir. No, oh, um, what about it? If I could just show you what's puzzling me, sir, perhaps I could use your desk. Be my guest. Now, sir, I'm going to need something to represent a few drops of blood. Could I use some water from that thing? From the carafe? Help yourself. I noticed that you have carpet on the floor, sir. Mr. Stapleton had hardwood under his desk. Could you spare a few sheets of paper, sir? Paper? Certainly. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes? Oh, how are you? No, no, I can't right now. I'm in the middle of a meeting. All right. I'll call you as soon as I'm through. See you. Bye-bye. I'm sorry about that. We won't be disturbed again. I've switched all calls through to the answering service. Now, uh, where were we? Uh, this is just about the place where the blood was. Now, let me show you. This is Mr. Stapleton's desk. Um, his body. Now, sir, after he's dead, here's his arm, and there's the gun under it on the floor. Uh, how does that look to you, sir? You saw it. Uh, right, sir. So here's the weird bit. This is the way it looked after he'd done what he was supposed to have done. But there's something that's puzzling me, sir, and I was wondering maybe with your expertise you could help me. I'll do my best. If you'll take a closer look, sir. Closer? Yes, please. Certainly. In here. In here. In the chair? Yeah. It's the blood underneath the gun. You see, sir, there was no blood on the gun. Not on this side and not on the underside. So the blood must have dried before the gun fell from his hand on the floor. You see, sir, this water hasn't dried yet. So how could a man shoot himself having a gun dangling from his fingers and it not drop until some time later? It just has me baffled, sir. Fascinating. Yes, sir. But not beyond explanation. You mean that there's some way that that could have happened? Did Stapleton have arthritis? Arthritis? In the hands. Oh, I don't know, sir. Well, check it out. Oh, yeah. In the finger joints. If there was a certain amount of calcification in the finger joints, it could have delayed their extension before the spasm. Spasm? Oh, yeah. Invariably, there's a spasm or a digestive quiver that occurs after other bodily functions have ceased and before the onset of rigor mortis. So you mean that the gun could have dangled on his finger with the arthritis, delaying it from dropping until this spasm or quiver shook it off sometime later? Precisely put. And that would explain how the blood had time to dry. Possibly. Brilliant, sir. I wouldn't have thought of that in a million years. Well, of course, there might be another explanation. That was just a conjectural analysis. I can't imagine a better one than that, sir. I wouldn't hesitate to use it in a court of law. No wonder you charge such high fees. The information that you just gave me is priceless. And thanks for the use of the hall, as they say. I'll be on my way. But believe me, sir, I will never forget how you helped me out here tonight. Any time, Lieutenant. Any time. 
Uh, have a good evening and uh, <clears throat> kindly close the door as you go out. I uh, still have work to do. Certainly, sir. Good night. Good night. Just one more thing. 